Ray Bear back in the, the blaster lab. We're going to uh, start lesson two for the uh, barrel assembly of the F11D blaster. In the first lesson we covered this uh, scope and rail system. When this is done we're going to paint these two stripes. Uh, uh, first thing we're going to do uh, with our barrel is well, we'll peel off this uh, piece of sandpaper. We don't need that anymore. We're going to make these two uh, pieces of the barrel. We got uh, L4 uh, here and L5. And the way that we're going to make, make those is using these tabs. And the, the one tab has a, uh, a hole in it. We're going to match those two holes up together just like that. And we're going to do that. But we need to scuff up the surfaces. All right, first on uh, L5, we need to re remove the uh, scaffolding there. I use that when I'm printing the pieces to stabilize that inner barrel. So we're just going to cut away these four little tabs and then cut around this. Uh, around. So that cleaned up as good as you can with the knife, then you can use a sanding stick just to clean up the edges of that inside barrel. Be gentle though, because there's nothing holding that, that inside barrel. You can see it's a little unstable except for way up near the tip. That's the only thing holding it. So let's just go ahead and clean that up. All right, then we're going to uh, clean the bottom mating surfaces for the glue. What you're doing to, looking to do here is knock that sheen off of it. Glue these together. I'm not going to just put glue just on the inside like that. I want to spread it a little bit, make sure I got good contact. And don't forget the inside barrel. Alright, so we're going to line those holes up and then just pinch the four tabs there to make sure that it's all lined up good and then just hold it in place until it's dry. Now after this sets up for about a half an hour, I'll just uh, I'll just snap these off with, well I'll start working on it, sanding it and stuff. The barrels will take probably the most work with, uh, with the sander. If, uh, if you're using a power sander, fine, but if you're not, then use a sanding sponge so it'll contour to, to the shape. You can use sanding boards too, and they will help to make sure that you have everything straight. But when you're final sanding, use your sponge. It'll also knock the hard edges off of everything. It makes it look a lot better. I started sanding uh, these barrel pieces, and I wanted to point something out to you here. Like I said, you're going to use the rough sandpaper to, to knock off all the imperfections that you can see. And then you go over it with the fine sanding sponge. and when you see things like this line, I don't, yeah, I guess you can see that. I'll let it focus for a minute. You see that line there? Usually if you see something, a flaw in it, you'll be able to see it after it's painted. But the best way to tell is run your fingernail across it. And if you can feel it, that, then you're definitely going to see it. So that needs more work in that area right there. I wanted to show you the Also, eye. I wanted to show you some of the pieces that you'll need to clean up. This one here, the front sight guard. So I take needle nose pliers and uh, you pinch this scaffolding close to the edge and it just collapses on you so you can take it out. Be gentle with this piece but if you do break it you can easily glue it. And after we uh, get this all broke free We'll use our sanding sticks to clean up all these edges. There, see? So then you're, you'll use your sanding stick to clean it all up. We'll also clean up our rear sight and our rear sight bracket. And our, uh, there's two guards like this. Uh, well, actually, they're slightly different from each other. Actually, there's, they're, they look similar, but they're different. Uh, one's flat-bottomed, and one's got a cove bottom. 
and the front sight. We'll need to clean that up with our sanding stick. Then you have the, uh, the five, well we already put these two together, so that's two of the barrel pieces, the forward barrel. Then we have the middle barrel, and then we have two back barrel pieces. So I'm going to clean these all up and I'll get it. Alright, so I broke the tabs off of there and I sanded this barrel. And I sanded the other barrel pieces here. So we're going to go ahead and start some assembly. Uh, this is the center barrel. And two of these, one of the two guards here. Uh, there's one with a flat bottom and one with a, a rounded bottom. So the flat bottomed one goes right here and it goes right in the front of that like that. So let's go ahead and glue that in place. So on the inside here, where it mates to uh, the front barrel section, you need to scrape all that out and make sure that you get a pretty flat surface there for this uh, barrel to uh, mount. The way that this goes together is that notch in the bottom goes there, and then it matches up nicely. And we'll just set that aside. All right, now the back barrel comes in two pieces. Here's, uh, here's the one that's uh, the furthest back. And then this piece here will slide in right there and match up that groove. Okay, so let's apply some cement there. Try not to get any in this little groove because there's going to be a moving part in there. here let that dry all right this back piece here also needs the uh, rear sight and the rear sight guard so I'm gonna go ahead and glue this together it's uh it goes forward uh, right here like that it'll be flush with the front okay and then this will glue to that hole in the back of the barrel, just like that. All right, let's apply some glue. That's where the, the rail will sit. And that's we're going to drill a hole in there, and that's where the screw for the rail mount After this strip is dry, I'm going to run the sanding sponge over it to soften all the edges. All right now we got the front barrel section. Um, this keyhole in the bottom, that's where the uh, wishbone locks in place. And this hole in the top is for the front sight. All right, the front sight will go only in one direction. So, and. If it doesn't quite fit, you might need to clean up this uh, tab a little bit. Now it fits in. All right, so we'll glue that in place. Now this front sight guard, this will be going on here. But if you look at the paint scheme, this this guard is painted black, and this band which it glues to, well actually, turn it around, this band in the front is white, okay, and then the muzzle that gets glued here is black again, so we're going to paint that separately before we glue that on. So and basically with this you have an option, you can either... You can either paint this before you put it together, or you can just hand paint this white after with a brush, with gloss white. I think I'll, I think I'll do that. All 
Okay, so uh, for the front barrel section, you also have this uh, guard that needs to get put on the left side on that last hole, just like that. You just line it up uh, visually to try to get it evenly between those holes. All right, for the, uh, also for the front barrel section, uh, we have these uh, T-rails that I've already sanded and prepped them and we're going to go ahead and glue these together. All right, so there's long ones and there's short ones, so make sure you're mating the right ones. I put a little glue on the corner and then in the middle. And on the other end. And then I just, you notice I didn't sand the very bottom of that piece because it don't show. It's inside the barrel. So I just glue these together like that and I'll do all five of them like that. Alright, so I got all five of these glued together. You'll end up with uh, three short ones and two long ones. I also cleaned up my muzzle. Since I'm going to be painting that stripe by hand afterwards, I can go ahead and glue that in place. And it lines up with the pin and the hole. You know, just, you can't get it wrong. And then we're going to glue in these uh, T-rails. They only go in the five top positions, okay? Because the thing's going to be on the bottom, so. All right, so you need a long one for the top. And it sits a little bit open, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna trim this down a little bit. Just down here, I'm not doing it up there where it shows. It's much better now. We'll go ahead and glue that in. And we'll do the same with the other four. So after this is fully dry, I'm going to hit it uh, all over with the sanding sponge, soften those edges. Alright, and then I'm going to uh, wipe it down with alcohol. Well, I'll blow it off, then I'll wipe it down with alcohol and I'll spray paint it. This one's ready to paint. I'll be painting this one white and then I'll... Actually, I'm not going to paint this one yet because I'm still going to attach the grip here. So we'll, we'll cover that later. All right, so there's our front barrel section ready for paint, and our back well, barrel. So last piece to glue on here is the uh, breech lock, which is ridiculously large if you ask me. That's the way it looks. So, all right, um, I used my drum sander on my Dremel to give this a cove to make it fit a little bit better. I might make an adjustment to that part so you don't have to do that anymore but it's a hard part to print because of the shape of it. And the breech lock goes on the back of the barrel underneath opposite of that end with the circle facing forward. So I'm going to go ahead and bolt. All right. Alright, that's where it goes. I'll clean this up with a sanding stick when I'm done before I paint it. Alright, so there you have your back barrel section. Now, alright, next we need these pieces here. The the mainspring. Alright, this is the <laughs> is terrible to clean up. Just peel that off. 
then the way I do it is I use a, a pair of needle nose pliers and I just grab this and I peel it back, grab it as close as I can to the spring itself. So. All right, so after we get it cleaned up, then we're gonna, well, after we get it uh, all off, then we're gonna clean it up best we can with a, uh, an X-Acto knife. Get in there at an angle and just kind of like work the screw right down. And then I go the other, with the other direction. Then I take my craft sticks, which I don't seem to have here with me. I take the craft sticks and I go through there and I sand it all up in between. And then I hold it closed and I hit it with a sanding sponge. So um, it takes about an hour to clean up this spring. So we'll clean that up and the bolt comes in two pieces. We'll clean these up with sandpaper and then they only match one way. You see that don't match, okay? But that does. So that's the way that that gets glued because this hole is for the charging handle will end up going through the spring and into there, okay? And you also need this plate for the charging handle to sit on. Clean away these uh, supports. All right, I got all my parts cleaned up. I got this spring cleaned up. And if yours doesn't look this good, you need to go back to do it again. See, I'm still seeing things that I missed go back and triple check and you'll probably find things that you missed. I cleaned up. Also, um, you don't even have to clean up this back side. Nobody's going to see that. Uh, that's notched out like that because once you have the barrel assembly installed, you'd never be able to get the bolt back out uh, if you didn't have it like that because of those grooves for the uh, plate. And that's what I want to talk to you about next. Uh, this little plate here needs to fit inside of those grooves with it with the slot outwards so we need to fine-tune this fit to fit in there now when that goes in there you need to be sure that once it gets in it is a little tight when it fits in there but uh, you want to make sure that it slides freely because that's where the charging handle is going to go. Alright, we want to glue our spring right there. Just like that because this part is going to show. So you want this uh, spring to look pretty right in there. going to work the uh, rear barrel section and like I said the reason I got that groove in there is so you can remove this later if you need to. You're going to put it in, go past it and then turn back to that other groove. Okay because see now it can't go back very far. We're not going to do this right now because we need to finish this all first. You just go right through there to get into that hole and then slide that until it goes into that groove and then we'll later we'll glue that and then the breech will be on the, the back of the barrel here so that you can see how that will toggle your hole. So, Alright, so I am ready to go do a little bit of painting because I get bored if I uh, don't see some results. So, so I'm ready to go shoot this. Uh, I'm going to shoot it silver. I made the spring show through here, so I like it. And uh, I'm going to also shoot the charging handle silver. So what I'll do is I'll just put this in there and just leave it hanging there like that. And I, I grab this with a, uh, a clothespin. And that's how I shoot this. And, uh, and I'm ready to paint some black. I'm going to paint these barrel sections black. 
Now, I'm not going to do any white right now, but because uh, we're going to cover that later. So that should cover the uh, barrel so assembly. So we'll see you in lesson three.